Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Hall of Fame Marathon here in Canton, Ohio. Well, we got some marathoners coming in. A half marathoner just finished. His first ever half marathon, a RWB man. But here we are, here around the four hour mark as they are coming in. And here they keep coming in. Got a good crowd here today. It's warmed up close to 80 degrees here. On Sunday morning here in Canton, Ohio. As you see the Pro Football Hall of Fame. This is the Hall of Fame Marathon here in Canton, Ohio. Here they come in. All decorated the red, white, and blue flags. All Our finish way. area. Yeah. Here we have a half marathoner coming in right there. There she comes in. Around the four hour mark. Obviously, one of her first half marathons. There's a marathoner coming in. Our first date. Got a good crowd here today. People cheering everybody on. Real festive here, here in Canton, Ohio. Got somebody walking in. It's a long haul, 26.2 miles. Cool race, everybody gets a blanket. Uh, what? She's giving everybody gets a real blanket, a fleece bent blanket, and a medal over there. That's a cool race, and we get an entry into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Your runner up was Bradley Hart, and today's champion, a time of one hour, ten minutes, and eight what? seconds, was Matthew Fett. <laughs> They're giving out awards here for the top men half marathoners. Okay, we'll see. Okay, race director with the top finishers in the half marathon. Awesome. Our top finishers in the half marathon. Well, we have the winner, and uh, show us your plaque there, of the half marathon here at the Hall of Fame here in Canton, Ohio. And he's a Wayne State alumni and still lives in Michigan. What's your name? Uh, Matt Fecht. Okay, and what was your time today? Uh, 110. Good time. Uh, it got a little warm out there. It was, it was a little warm out there, a little warm, that's for sure. So it was uh, stay hydrated earlier. Thank you, Danny. Uh, really warm, stay hydrated out there, and uh, just... Kind of came back after running USA halves yesterday, and oh, just wanted to see, uh, yeah, also. just wanted to see what I could do. So, so uh, wasn't quite sure what to expect. Uh, so I'll take it today. Awesome. What, how did you uh, end up doing in the uh, in the half yesterday? Uh, I was 30th overall, okay. so uh, placing was okay. Time wasn't exactly where I wanted it to be, but uh, we'll take the place. Where did they run yesterday? Uh, winner was like 63, right. and where, where, where uh, it was uh, Columbus. Oh, so just down the road? Yeah, a couple hour drive. Yeah. So, on the way home to stop by here, so I uh, figured, hey, why not? Super. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. You're going to come back for next year's race? Uh, I'm going to put it in the schedule for sure. Got to defend. So. Going over the Hall of Fame? Uh, actually got to drive back home, got to be to work tonight, so. Okay, well, hey, <laughs> congratulations. Super Thank great. you. Appreciate it. Okay, well, we have the women's winner. Congratulations to Danny. Miller. Feel 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 out there today? Good. Um, I'm honored because Gary is like famous and awesome and done so many cool things in life. Um, I aspire to be like Gary um, and Matt. I mean, double double discount over there. It's amazing. Um, yeah. So like, I feel like I'm like a little bit crazy. Like if I'm training for ultra marathon. So today was focus on hydration and go out there and fight when it's hot. And I think I definitely did that. I mean, the last. 5K was absolutely miserable. I was throwing up all in my shoes and on the biker and on the reporters. And but I'm happy I got the job done. Um, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but you know, you only can do so much, and uh, your body can handle so much. So learning experiences. Every day I'm learning. Every race I'm learning. Well, you broke three hours, and this is a tough course, and it got hot. It got hot. So and uh, well, you're going to come back next year. I like to. Um, yeah. But hey, 
whatever God gives you that day, you just roll with it. I mean, you look at some of the best in the country, and they it's have to fight in the same ways. You know, they have to it's fight. Um, you see in the Olympic trials, same kind of thing. Ooh, I didn't mean to hit you. Um, you know, and you just see how these women deal with it and can perform in that big stage. So. Um, this is definitely, um, you know, a work in progress for my ultra marathon training, and uh, get rested up and focus on the next thing. So. Okay. Well, great. What do you have an idea what you're gonna do next? Uh, I got a couple things in mind, but wait I'll wait and see. Yeah. Uh, recover. Recover. Yeah. Got to recover. I'm gonna go lay in my ice bath and try and get a Slurpee. That's a good idea. And you gonna go to the Hall of Fame? Maybe. <laughs> if if my husband wants to carry me or push me. Um, I'm a big Lions fan, the Lions, um, and if you're a marathoner, you should be a fan of the Lions because, you know what, you might think, think some silly things, but if it gets you to that end, you got, you got it, so I'm thinking Super Bowl for Lions. Someday. One day. Okay, well, Super Bowl, congratulations. Thank you so much. Great interview. Have a wonderful day. Huh? Thank you. Cool. Let me get this redone here. Okay, well, we have the race director, Jim uh, Cheney from the Pro Football Hall of Fame Marathon here in Canton, Ohio. So how'd you think things went today, Jim? I thought they went very, very well, considering our, our lead up to this day, um, forecast of thunderstorms all week. And so I'd been dealing with a lot of emails about are we canceling the race? You know, what should we do if a thunderstorm crashes in? So fortunately, we had a good day. It was a little warm. Um, operationally, I think things went well. I'm pretty pleased. It's our first time down at this particular venue, so we had a lot of logistical changes. Um, but everyone seems to be pretty favorable, you know, comments. And uh, knock on wood, uh, nothing serious has happened. So yes. Other than the 15 minutes delay because of an auto. Yeah. So it, you know, you never know what you're going to encounter on race day. And uh, I had an auto accident that just clogged up our main artery into the parking. So we made a very tough decision. In, in the grand scheme of things. It's an easy decision. This is recreation. We're having fun, but a lot of people put a lot of time in training, and so you know your nerves are, are very exposed. And so, 15 minutes is an eternity for some. Yes. But it worked out great. Course was great. Um, I think everybody had a good time. Uh, lots of proud support in different places. Uh, and the half, I thought it was great. I, I really enjoyed doing it, and uh, you got some great uh, giveaways. Like I said, a blanket and. Uh, a tour of the uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, there's more to Canton than what people think. I appreciate that. There, there really is, and it's important for us. Canton is not New York. Canton is not San Francisco, and so we uh, we have to carve our little place in the world. And certainly, the Pro Football Hall of Fame allows us to do that. Um, we're super happy that people came out. I don't know if you had a chance, since I'm a, a Cleveland Browns fan. I hate to say that, folks, but uh, at mile four, we had uh, a super fan called the Bone Lady. I don't know if you got to see her. She was all crazy get up Browns fan. So, it's a uh, definitely a football theme race and uh, you get, hopefully you got to see that with the mile markers and everything else. Well, and it'll be here next year same time, same place? Same time, same place. Well, cool. And also, I, you had us run by the McKinley Monument. Uh, that was a revelation. I did not know he was buried here. So, um, McKinley, uh, one of our presidents, and uh, he's uh, enshrined here and also a museum. Yeah, it's it's a, definitely a mixture of residential, park, and historical um, through our community. So kind of cool. Well, thank you for putting it on. And I had a great time. I, most people have had great uh, experience here today. So we thank you for all your hard work. I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome, man. Cool.
Okay, everyone from Michigan, you got to come around this race here in Canton, Ohio. Even though it's Ohio, you want to come and do it. The Pro Football Hall of Fame Marathon Finisher Blanket. Everyone does a half in full gets one of these. They are really cool. So there it is. Come down next year, and we'll take a look at the medals here. Thank you, lady. Okay, and here are the medals here. They got the full, the half, and then the relay. So some really cool medals here. This is a unique race here in Canton, Ohio. I highly recommend coming down and doing it. And you also get a ticket to the Hall of Fame. So, and a big party here. What's coming down to do?